Hey guys, welcome back. Um, same box as in the previous video, but this time around we're actually gonna unpack this one. Uh, it's sort of the same story as the previous box. Facebook pages, claiming comics for a certain price and having them shipped to you. And this one is from uh, Robert from Tal. And he asked me if he could send some comics for other guys as well. And even though it's not the page that I'm uh, administrating, it's still uh, that sort of, uh, yeah, we, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a regular customer there, so it's fine, you know, like, uh, not gonna be difficult about that at all. It's only a couple of comics for other people who are also uh, purchasing comics from me, so it's mutually beneficial in all directions. So, there are four boxes. Can't get them out yet. So let me just open up the bubble wrap just a little bit more without actually bumping the camera. Will I be able to pull it out or... Yeah, there we go. So, the first one is for me. I'm gonna open that in a minute. We got a couple of issues for uh, Simon Stevens, another Belgian uh, member of the Facebook page. Once again, uh, house hoarder Marine Reiniger, who also has a, uh, a YouTube channel, Dark Side is Comics. Uh, he does unboxings as well and does reviews for uh, certain comics which he likes or doesn't like. Uh, gives his opin opinion on it, on the story, on the art. Uh, highly recommend it, go check it out. And we got Abdi Raskala, and um, he's a new member for my uh, for my page, my Facebook page. And uh, well, since he <clears throat> got the opportunity to send his comics to me as well, um, he he made use of that. So Abdi, they're going on your pal. Thanks, Robert. Thank you well. And we're gonna open uh, my box. I think there's like only maybe two or three comics inside. So we split the uh, shipping costs to me and then uh, everybody pays for individual shipping costs when they send their comics, uh, when they have their comics sent to them, which uh, in the end saves a lot of money. Wrapped up in old newspapers. This is empty. Put this to the side and let's see which comics these are. Um, Marvel's Greatest Comics. I have no idea why I bought this one, but I, I, I saw it and I thought, well, since I'm buying these two comics, I might as well get that, that one as well. I think it was like a couple of euros. So uh, it's an oldie with uh, the thing. I think it's a reprint of an earlier Fantastic Four issue, but I'm just gonna open it up to check that out. I think it might be Jack Kirby's art. Seems like it. Interior pages will let me know for sure. It was printed in 1977, which was a very, very good year. Mm, yeah, Stanley Jack Kirby, and originally presented in Fantastic Four issue number, what does it say, 91, which is of course very old. So uh, yeah, chances are I, I bought, it's not very likely for me to get that issue, so might as well get a reprint and uh, that's this one. And then quite recently I started buying Batman comics and also the uh, Robin limited series. And this was the third print. So I already had the first and second print. So I just went for the third print as well. Figured I might as well just buy it um, since it was pretty cheap. So yeah. And then we have a Captain America issue. What is it? Let me just see if I can figure it out. Issue 444 of the first volume. Looks pretty dramatic. Um, yeah, so that's a nice addition to my collection as well. That's it for this box. I'm gonna uh, get another box real quick and do that in the same video as uh, this one. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be this box. It's a somewhat small box, but it feels pretty heavy, so there's got to be a lot of comics inside. It's 
gonna be careful so I don't actually cut in the comics on top. I'm not sure how it's packed inside, so it's rather be a little bit careful. There we go. Oh, okay, well, I could have just stabbed it. Wouldn't be a problem. We got some airbags inside. And then we have a shitload of comics in here. Let me just see how I'm gonna take this out. It's it's not tightly packed inside the bubble wrap, so I'm kind of I'm kind of um, not sure how to get this out without dropping stuff. Okay, let me just open it like this, and then take some out. Yeah, that's probably the way I should do it. Take some out, and these ones. Oh, sorry. And then the last pile. Get the box out of the way and the packaging material. There we go. Let me see if they're somewhat in the right order. Because there are some a couple of runs in here. One second guys, sorry about this. Let me just sort of put them in the right order. And then I'm gonna show them to you guys. I think I think this might be it. So at least they're somewhat in order. So what we have here is, of course, X-Men comics, of course. This is the first volume of the uh, 1991 series, issue 157, issue 158, very cool cover, 159, 160, 161, 62. I like this cover as well, just the way the juggernaut looks. Pretty big, pretty imposing. Fancy gambit cover. This is 163, 164. All covers are done by Salvador La Roca, which became, uh, who became the steady artist for this series. 166, 167. Good. And then we skip a couple of issues and then we go to 174, 177, so the, they're not consecutive numberings, 178, 179, 180, 181, the weirdest character ever called Dupe. 182 and 183 and that's it for this volume <clears throat> then in the next volume <clears throat> is it the next volume I think it is I think it is um, issue number eight issue number nine Terry Dodson. Then we go to the uh, Unlimited X Men series. And this looks like Bill Sinkiewicz art, but inked in a different way. But it looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you guys in the close up. It's uh, even though it's an X Men Unlimited title, <coughs> it's actually the New Mutants team, which are featured in here. So. Uh, 
uh, with a couple of characters who will come up later in the storylines, uh, in the storytelling videos I'm doing. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Issue 43, issue 44, issue 45, and all the comics look in pretty good shape, so I'm very happy with that. Slight um, blunt corner here, but nothing bad. No huge pine dicks or anything, it looks pretty good. Issue 47, I'm pretty sure I missed this one, so uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. 48. <coughs> And 49 and then we have a limited series called the x-men the end issue one two of the dreamers and demons story i never really understood these stories because they are sort of futuristic with an alternative ending to the uh, x-men as members of a team and they were this story was divided in three separate stories this one is the dreamer and demon story yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't really fond of this story when I read it. The story by itself was okay, but it, it didn't really connect to anything uh, going on in the uh, in the general uh, series. So maybe, maybe I'm missing out on something. Could be. Maybe I should just read them again. I don't know. Then we have the Extreme X Men series, um, also with art by Salvador La Roca. Twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, issue 30, 31, 32, and this series is a uh, I had very, very high expectations of this series when it, uh, when it, not when it came out because I, I quit collecting comics back then, but when I bought them later on, um, because uh, yeah, they were going after the Diaries of Destiny. Um, at least that was the whole idea behind it, but it sort of fell off from that storyline and went into its own. And I don't know. I, I had really high expectations with uh, Chris Claremont coming back on uh, writing the X Men, but. Somehow it just didn't connect with me, I'm not sure. And then up until issue 41. And yeah, very nice comments. They look really good, so I'm very happy with this. Even though I have most of them already, I'm just gonna use a couple of them uh, for upgrading and uh, see what the, which ones I'll be putting up for sale again, which will be featured on the Facebook page again. So if you're liking some of these comics and you would like to get your hands on it, come join the Facebook page. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything and you can also just look around, you know, so. Um, there we go. Oh. That's it for this box. I have one more box <clears throat> and I'm gonna be unboxing that one in another video. So thanks for joining me in this one and see you guys around for the next one, hopefully. Thanks for watching.